Hey viewers, welcome to Real Astrology once again. And before starting this video, I would like to take you back, flashback, as to what exactly happened on this particular day. 2001, a very important incident which shook us all, the most dreadful event happened, 9-11. Can we just go back and see what was the planetary position on that particular day? Let's explore. To start with, let's see the position of Sun. Sun was in Leo. And Moon, Rahu and Jupiter, they all were in Gemini. And Rahu was in the Sagittarius Navmansha. Mars along with Ketu, please note this particular transit. Mars and Ketu both were in Mula Nakshatra. Mercury was in Virgo and Saturn in Taurus. And as every time I say an event to happen has to have Sun, Moon or Saturn, either in the trine or in Kendra. That's the quadrant. So what is the position here? Sun is in Leo. Moon is in Sagittarius, which is satisfying two of our conditions, Kendra and Trikona. So this particular transit was triggered when Sun and Moon came in the Trikona and the Kendra. So Mars and Ketu were together from a long time, but this triggered this particular event. So what happens when Ketu, which is moving out of Venus's nakshatra and going to its own nakshatra, Mula nakshatra, on the 11th of February, I am talking about the true Ketu here. And till the 20th of September, all the way, it is going to be in this nakshatra. Do we anticipate something big coming our way? Yes, we can. Because Mars is also going to be here till March 22nd. And what exactly is coming our way? I'm going to be taking up sign wise prediction, of course, as to what is your ascendant. Please check that or your moon sign, whichever resonates more. And I will be telling you the Navmansha positions. The four Navmansha in the back of position when Ketu is transiting is going to be going, touching Cancer, Gemini, Taurus and Aries Navmanshas. Cancer Namansha, uh, Aries, uh, Cancer Namansha, Ketu will be from the 11th of February till the 22nd of March. In um, uh, Gemini Namansha, uh, Ketu would be transiting from the 22nd of uh, March till the 22nd of April. And in Taurus Namansha, uh, this Ketu in Mula Nakshatra will be from 22nd of April to the 19th of August, which is a very long time. That is why I always use Rahu Ketu because it considers uh, the uh, actual movement of Rahu Ketu, the true nodes. So it's going to be a long stay in uh, the Taurus Namansha. But in Aries Namansha, it's again going to be for one month because it's not erratic here uh, for long. But yes, it is definitely going to be from the 19th of August to the 20th of September in Aries Navmansha and finally would be transiting the Scorpio sign. So the results would be pertaining to your ascendant and see where Ketu is placed in your birth chart. Then see where your Sagittarius sign is. That's how we have to go step by step. And then I will be coming to the Navmansha position. See where your Cancer, Gemini, Taurus and Aries are. So I will be, of course, giving you the predictions, the general predictions, but in case you want particularly as to understand what is happening in your natal chart, so you should be going by this way. See where the position of Ketu in your natal chart is. That matters a lot as well. So here we have to just understand that Rahu is not changing any nakshatras right now. It is going to be just changing the Namansha and uh, will be in uh, the Namansha of, uh, will be going to the Namansha of Capricorn um, and will be joining Saturn there in the Capricorn Namansha from the 11th of February and will be there till the 23rd of, uh, 22nd of March, sorry. And uh, um, 
Saturn is going to be there in Capricorn from March till the 23rd of February. So till the 23rd of February, it's a precarious period because uh, both the malefics, uh, Rahu as well as Saturn, are in the same Ravmansha also of Capricorn. Uh, and of course, Saturn is Varvottam, as we all know. So uh, finally, uh, Rahu will be transiting out of, will be changing the, uh, the uh, nakshatra only on the 22nd of April when um, uh, uh, it will be going to Mrigshira nakshatra. So that is the major change which we will be anticipating during that time. So, uh, but yes, till that time, till especially, especially 23rd of February, things are looking very dangerous and dicey. And of course, we have to see Surya's position also, Moon's position as well to trigger an event. So we must look into all these things. We must look into all these factors before deciphering as to what the conjunctions mean and how they work and, you know, just not always, not straight away going to that point that okay, this is going, this is doomed, this is going to happen on this particular day. No, the exact conjunction will get activated only when Sun, Moon, Saturn, they are either in the triangle or the Kendra, as I said many, many times. Now, I'll be telling you a little bit about Ketu and Ketu in Sagittarius, and then I'll be telling you about Tara Chakra, and then I'll be telling you about the Ascendant Vice predictions. So, we all know Ketu is a shadowy planet, and it is uh, the of course, the lower half of uh, the demon, and the, as we call. So it is, uh, it is the planet of isolation, seclusion, and it actually gives us introvertedness. So it is like solitary confinement, whatever you can call. And it causes breaks. Ketu cuts. So in case you are having some project or there are certain ongoing things which are going on right now, they'll come to a halt or standstill, or there'll be, there'll be obstructions or obstacles in completing them because it's you know, it's a headless, Ketu is headless. So he doesn't see the world. He doesn't know the world. Everything is dark for him. So that is why whenever you have uh, to judge Ketu, you have to just imagine a man without head, how he will be. Or a person without the thought process working. Like person is going to the coma. That is because of Ketu. All right. So now Ketu is actually detachment also as we know as we say that you know ketu is uh, uh, seclusion it's a secluded planet and it is the uh, if rahu is maya brings you to the earth ketu takes you away from this because uh, moksha is or death or as you call coma or whatever you know is because of the detachment from the world right so it is a, it is actually bringing wisdom and knowledge also Ketu represents that as well. Now coming to Ketu in Sagittarius, how you will be, you know, uh, in Sagittarius, you must have felt uh, from a long time Ketu is in Sagittarius. Did you learn a foreign language? Or did you have a, a excessive travels or a disconnect with your father, thought processes different, or maybe some disassociation uh, from the sacred uh, belief system or convictions, horrifying near death-like experiences, accidents, electric currents, or falling from a terrace and still saved. Have you ever felt that during this course? If yes, then definitely this is because of Ketu's transiting through the Sagittarius sign. Definitely, uh, the intensity will vary. It will be definitely not the same dependent upon your birth chart and the dasha you are in. Jupiter here. Placement of Jupiter in Sagittarius sign even is blunt out with Ketu's presence. Remember, it's a Rahu Ketu axis. You can fight with a person who is visible, right? When somebody who is not even visible, it's a Shayagra, as we, as we all know. So whom will you fight with? Who? Who's that? Who's the other person you're going to be fighting with? Or you're going to be talking to? You're going to be communicating with? There's nobody. Nobody on the other side. That is Ketu and Rahu, of course. They go hand in hand. Now, coming to the next step, Tara Chakra, I just will briefly tell you that uh, the uh, Ketu transiting the Mula Nakshatra, so people born with Janam Tara, I'm talking about your Jan Nakshatra, if is Saturn, Rahu, or Moon, that is Pushya, Nuradha, Uttra, Bhadrapad, uh, Ardhara, Swati, Shatabisha, or Rohini, Hasta, Shravan. Uh, so these are the nakshatra-born people who will be actually facing uh, the negative impact of this 
uh, transit. The rest of you will not be facing that kind of an impact. But yes, uh, it will be, um, you know, the intensity will vary once I will tell you the predictions based on the Navmansha movement also. Because uh, I've given you the dates, uh, Cancer Navmansha, Gemini Navmansha, Taurus Aries Navmansha's dates. So you can just go back and check. And uh, here now what is happening, uh, Ketu is going to be transiting Cancer Navmansha first. That is from the 11th of February till the 22nd of March. So what is Cancer Navmansha going to do when Ketu is transiting there? You know, you will be having... The cancer denotes uh, emotions. So you will have some emotional setback or some aloofness because Ketu detaches you from that particular zone. So it is going to detach you from your emotional bent of mind or maybe somebody will fall sick from your closed ones or is hospitalized or is going away from you or is going to, uh, maybe your children are going to study, going for overseas education. So there is a distance. It is not that the emotions will die away or fade away, but yes, there is aloofness. You must understand it is going to cause some kind of aloofness in the emotional bent of mind also. Now here it will be, uh, it is quite likely that you have trust issues. When uh, Ketu is transiting uh, cancer Namansha, you can have a lot of doubts in people. You will not be able to trust them. They will be unstable and fluctuating thought process. So that all can happen when Ketu is transiting K uh, Cancer Namansha. Now Ketu will be transiting Gemini Namansha from the 22nd of March to the 22nd of April. So here Gemini denotes communication, intelligence, information. As we all know, it is the, uh, uh, the uh, ruler is Mercury. It's a dual, si a dual sign after all. It's a dual sign and uh, Mercury, Mercury and uh, Ketu, you know, this is a sign which is airy sign and Ketu is an airy planet. Okay, so now here the travels will be a big obstruction or there will be some uh, break in journeys. Okay, so you'll plan something, but it will come to a break or maybe there is, you know, uh, suddenly, you know, you want to communicate with people outside or you want to send the email, but you're not able to. Why? Because there is a break in communication due to something. Maybe your internet is not working, the signals are weak, or maybe, you know, your uh, mobile phone is not working, or the battery is not fully charged during this time, and then you realize that, you know, uh, most of the times this will happen, or maybe you are cut off from the world, you know, your maybe a mobile phone is stolen, or, you know, your it, it, it gets, it's, fell, uh, it's fallen off and it's broken. That can also happen. So it is like communication lost, because it's the, uh, airy sign also. So it can have some connectivity issues. You know. It can give you some uh, digestive issues also because it's an airy uh, pl uh, planet. Then on the 22nd of April till the 19th of August, um, Ketu is going to be in Taurus Namansha. So Taurus is what? Second sign or second house of the natural zodiac which represents finance and family. So there can be some kind of losses uh, which you will face in financial, financial losses or finances or investments will not, will fail. Or maybe there are some frictions, more of frictions between you and your family members. There is somehow some hurdles in acquiring luxuries, material comforts, and you know, maybe you're you're being very lethargic, you're not taking right decisions, you're not depending on, or you're procrastinating also. This is also quite likely, you know, with this. So, and you're very stubborn, you're egoistic, you're stubborn approach because it's a bull. The sign is bull. So you can have that approach with your own people, which will maintain, which will be maintaining that distance, that gap and that detachment. So it will be adding on to the challenges, challenges, you know, in maintaining relationships. So you have to work through these energies during this time even more. Lastly, Ketu will be transiting Aries Namansha and that is going to be from 19th of August to the 20th of September. When lastly, Ketu will be transiting out of Sagittarius and going to Scorpio. So what is Aries? Aries is the first sign, which, is, which denotes you, yourself, health, personality, prestige. So there will be some kind of detachment with your own prestige. Maybe, you know, you will have problems um, communicating with people. You will be highly unpredictable predictable. You will not be depending on people. You will not be seeking people. You will be going away from people. You don't like to be in the limelight. So you, you prefer uh, being indoors or working behind the curtains more. So that is something which is going to happen with these Namansha travels also of Ketu. So, but yes, I would just like to add one thing very important. Ketu and Mars 
in Sagittarius is not, not at all a good combination. So there can be mishaps uh, which can happen. And in my previous video, if you have gone back and seen what all happened in 2018, I could just take one year uh, example. Uh, so many events happened at that time also. And in this video, I've taken the example of 2001 when the configuration in the sky was quite similar. So uh, only Saturn is uh, not in the same position, but rest of the planets, if you will see, they were quite on the similar axis. So it is definitely going to be a little tough for all of us. So I would just request you to be prepared. And uh, Jupiter definitely is a saving grace. But here also, I would say that Ketu is overpowering and blunting the sensitivities of Jupiter here. So being Jupiter's sign, Jupiter is losing its power here. Um, so just be prepared and... Uh, I will be moving on to the sign wise prediction. That's all I can do. I can just help you out by saying, uh, you know, things b beforehand so that you're mentally prepared. Um, so coming to Aries first. All right, Aries ascendant first. So for Aries people, uh, you have been having troubles in travels. You have been having troubles with your uh, father. So you have to actually work through these energies, these areas of life. So from the 11th of February till 22nd of March, you will be having some kind of detachment with your children, with your family people, with your mother, with your emotions. Uh, you are less emotional or you're very emotional. You have to work through these. Then from the 22nd of March till the 22nd of April, you will have some break journey, breaking journeys. In case you're planning, you have to be careful, extra, extra careful. You have to be careful and uh, work through the relationships with your siblings and your neighbors. You have to be cautious. What you speak, how you speak, don't be too rash, don't be too detached. Just put a little bit of extra effort and you'll be able to sail through. Maybe your mobile phone, which is very expensive, breaks during this time. So be extra cautious. You're prone to accidents also, be watchful. There can be some communication break with your people, with your uh, neighbors, with your siblings, with the people around you, outside world. So you have to work through that. You have to be extra careful. From the 19th, uh, from the 22nd of April to the 19th of August, you have some financial crunch. You have to really, really work hard to uh, put little extra effort to generate wealth. Invest cautiously. You can have uh, investments which you are uh, heading to, which are going to be uh, giving you heavy losses in future. So be watchful during these four months, three months time. So from April uh, till August. So you have to be extra careful about this. Then there can be some uh, differences of opinion or maybe you're going, uh, feeling very detached with your own family people. Just put little extra effort. They also need your love. You have to pull through this phase as well. Without family, you cannot do it. It's not possible. Lastly, from the 19th of August to the 20th of September, you will be feeling that you are not looking after yourself. You are not even finding time to comb your hair, hair as well. You are too detached from the world. You don't want to do for others, you, neither for yourself nor for others. You're feeling too detached during this time. So you have to actually be very, very careful. You can be a little uh, aggressive. Your approach can be very irritable. Your uh, speech can go rash be watchful. You are not feeling like uh, traveling to places or there's work, you're procrastinating, you don't want to do anything during this time. The laid back kind of an attitude is there from uh, this uh, 19th of August till the 20th of September. So just work through these energies. I have taken into account the Navmansha positions. You can go back and re-listen. Here, the first, ha first part of this video where I've explained why I'm considering the Navmanshas and how. So please go back and see. And if the tar, as per Tara Chakra, if you are born under Saturn, Rahu or Moon Nakshatra, then also this, going, this phase is going to be a little tough for you. Coming to the next sign that is Taurus. For Taurus people, you have to make a note of these dates. Uh, they are, if you will go back and listen to the summary that I've given initially, you will get to know why I'm talking about the Navmansha. So these are based on the Navmansha positions. So initially, you know, from the 11th of February till the 22nd of uh, March, 
you will be feeling uh, very detached with your own siblings, with your neighbors, with your communication skills. You are unable to speak out, you know, you're, uh, you're unable to speak your mind, your expressions, you're not able to convey your mind, your speech, you are unable to, uh, maybe, you know, you're getting disconnected with the world because uh, your mobile phone, uh, phone fell off and it got broken, you know, it is such an expensive phone, you know, and it got broken. That can also happen, slipping off all the ties with the world. You know, it can happen. Maybe, you know, the, the internet breaks down and you're unable to uh, you know, uh, get connected. So this one month is very crucial uh, as far as your uh, communication is concerned. So it can be that uh, your uh, spiritual activities, you know, they are going to be uh, taking a different turn altogether. Maybe you're thinking about forming uh, a new uh, spiritual bonding with somebody you know so that can also happen it can toughen the bond with your siblings also there can be some kind of legal complication which can arise with your siblings so you have to be extra extra careful during this time travels might have obstacles or breaks you know or maybe there are, you know, you're traveling by road and you know your car breaks down in on the way so all these i'm just telling you to be prepared so maybe you know these things can happen and maybe you know uh, they don't, but there is definitely the courage is there to face it all because second house, uh, third house is the house of courage also. Why third house? Because it's the, third, uh, is the cancer of mansha there. But definitely it is going to give you some emotional detachment with your siblings and your neighbors. And there can be some problems regarding your, uh, you know, maybe you fight for the parking or something, you know, there are or maybe some uh, new neighbors have come and you don't want to, you want to just aloof yourself from them. Then on the uh, 22nd of March to 20, uh, 22nd of April, you are actually getting detached with your family, with your finances, you're procrastinating, you don't want to uh, do anything about financial growth, you're not, or maybe there are some speech disorders, you're eating wrong food and you're having some uh, mouth region which is getting infected, you know, often during this phase especially. So you have to be extra extra cautious about that. Maybe some throat infection, which is not going, and you know your uh, your uh, capacity to um, put in effort to earn finance is the house of finance. So it is definitely going to be impacting negatively there, because wherever Ketu is transiting, whichever number child is transiting, it is going to be impacting it in a uh, detached detached way you become too detached with that particular zone. So you might be just not able to take good decisions regarding your family and possessions during this time. So you have to be really, really cautious during this time. Now coming to the date uh, from 22nd of April till the uh, 17, uh, till uh, 22nd of April till the 19th of August. This is the time when you will not be able to look after yourself. You will, not, you are basically, you know, not focusing on the things that you should be during this time. So you have to be extra careful about your own appearance, your physical character, your temperament, your strengths, your weaknesses. You have to really put effort to all these areas because you know you have that magnetic personality. So you are definitely going to be losing that out during this transit during these many days. So be careful. Then lastly, from the 19th of August till the 20th of September, you will be spiritually inclined. You want to do things for yourself. You want to aloof, cut off yourself from the world and you want to just spend time, loan time with yourself. Maybe you will be closing yourself down to, uh, uh, you know, uh, maybe you'll become very introvert and you want to just uh, meditate most of the time. So you want to just spend time, the loan time that we all look for, that you're going to be doing, you know, during this time, during this phase. So you, maybe you're enjoying isolation, aloofness during this time more. So, and you don't want that public drama, you know, outside, which you are not in for. So this is something which will give you an uh, interest in astrology, maybe, or some mystical science, some other subjects like those, you know, or maybe you're writing a book on these subjects, or maybe something, uh, uh, you know, or you're, you're taking a consultation from an astrologer of your choice, maybe. That can also happen. So uh, not a bad idea, I'm telling you. So in case you are having all those energies, you must utilize this time, you know. This is actually a very powerful energy. When you're aloof from the world, this is the time when you want to actually devote time to yourself. Please go back and listen to the summary, initial summary. You will get to know what 
exactly can happen on the mundane level. This is the personal generalized prediction, but yes, on the mundane level, if you want to hear, you can hear, go back and listen to the summary. Coming to the next sign, that is Gemini. All right, Gemini, you are actually having some major issues right now. You're facing a lot of troubles uh, on the uh, home front with your partner, with your spouse. So with this transit, you might be feeling from the 11th of February till the 22nd of March, you might be feeling a little more detached with people or with your family people, you know, you're not too emotional with them or you are, you know, some of your fam family members, one of your family members is going away from you maybe. So that could be the reason, you know, when you will be feeling very uh, low and detached during this phase even more. Uh, you are procrastinating things a lot, actually. You know, you must uh, work through your budget, your finances during this time. Because, you know, then there will be certain uh, losses or certain sudden, you know, uh, requirements that you have to work through. Then it will be a little difficult. So you just spend a little more time on working out your budget, plan your finances and investments. So this will help you. In case you're feeling too detached and too aloof from your own people, just put a little extra effort and things will be better. From the 22nd of March till the 22nd of April, you will be feeling aloof from your own self. You will be uh, introvertness and you will be feeling that now you don't want to talk to people, you don't want to, uh, you know, uh, do for anybody. You're basically, you know, you're, you're de getting detached from your own self. You're not even willing to comb your hair or dress up your appearance, you know, you're not putting effort doing that. You have to put little extra effort. I'm giving you the dates for that reason. If you will go back and hear the summary on the mundane level, what is coming our way, you will get to know why I'm talking about these dates and what exactly is this Namansha thing, you know. That is why I'm not telling you again and again about the Namansha positions. But yes, just what is the result of the movement. So you have to actually work through these energies even more during this phase. Uh, it's a long transit after that from the 22nd of April till the 19th of August. You are getting too detached. Detached from your family, detached from your out, uh, outside world. You are actually becoming very stubborn, maybe you're very egoistic and you are accident prone also. Maybe there is a surgery that you're heading to and you're hospitalized and you're aloof. Hospitalization is also getting aloof from the world, right? Ketu cuts as it is. So lastly, from the uh, 19th of August till the 20th of uh, September, you are getting detached with your social life. You want to, uh, with your friends especially, because it's the house of, uh, you know, wealth also. It is uh, your desire also, prosperity also, income, growth, wealth. It depicts our social life. You, you're getting help from the uh, outside world, but you're not willing to accept it. So how do you do it? It's all up to you. Otherwise, uh, you know, this transit is not considered a very good transit of Ketu and Mars together. For this, especially this phase, you have to be extra cautious. Look after your speech. Take care of your speech, what you speak, actually. Otherwise, I think uh, you can, uh, these predictions are uh, general predictions. That's why I'm telling you well in advance so that you can be prepared. Coming to the next sign, that is cancer. Coming to cancer. So for cancer people, you must be extra careful on the 11th of February, from 11th of February till the 22nd of March. This is the time when you will not be looking after yourself. You will not be looking after your personality, your appearance, you know, you, the time of magnetism that you have. You are actually missing out on that. So you have to work through that energy rather than detaching yourself uh, emotionally from others and your spouse and people around you you should be working more on these areas. From the 22nd of March till the 22nd of April, you are getting detached from the world. You are maybe you're hospitalized, you're not well, you are maybe undergoing a surgery during that time. So you are as it is cut off from the world. You are just aloofing yourself from the world. You com your communication is getting cut. Maybe your mobile phone is not working and um, uh, it breaks uh, and then you are cut off from the world or it's stolen. So be watchful, be watchful. Travels can be, uh, you know, causing some hindrances or maybe there are some obstacles that you're facing more during the uh, transits you know during the uh, travels so be careful uh, from the 22nd of april till the 19th of august a long time you have to actually think about your investments during this time you're not thinking about your investments finances family you're getting detached with your friends your social life you have to put effort here you will not be able to but you have to be focused on uh, the present. Don't procrastinate the works. You know, the jobs that you have to finish, you just finish them. 
rather than procrastinating them. Uh, then from the 19th of August, because it's a long time, from 19th of August to 20th of September, you are actually uh, lacking positive energy. The pessimism is more in at the workplace. You are feeling that energy is there, but you're unable to utilize it, or maybe you're not able to bring forward that energy out from you and then you know, focusing on your work or finishing that project that you are assigned. You are just delaying, procrastinating again. So you have to actually think logically. You have to push yourself in doing things at the place of work. Maybe there is some kind of uh, problems related to uh, the work. The activity question is missing with the coworkers. There is some lack of synchronization with your coworkers. You have to work, work through these energies even more. Don't go in for some litigation, loans during this time. It's not considered to be a good phase all through. So the dates, of course, I've given because I have, uh, you know, if you go back and hear the initial summary, you will get to know what exactly these dates imply. And on the mundane level, what are we going to be, uh, we, we can anticipate. So you must listen to that summary because this is all uh, on the individual general basis. But what is on the mundane level? You should be hearing that summary. Coming to the next sign, that is Leo. So for Leo people, um, if you want to hear what exactly happened in uh, uh, the initial part, you know, you will get to know why I'm talking about these dates uh, because uh, the Ketu will be transiting in Navmanshas and I've explained and how is the, uh, you know, this particular transit going to be uh, on the mundane level and what we can anticipate. You can just go back and hear the initial part, you'll get to know. But on the generalized personal level uh, for Leo people, uh, you have to be extra careful as to how you speak with your kids, how, what is your creativity, how you deal with it. For you, actually, the creativity is there. It's the inbuilt trait for uh, the um, Leos. But, you know, you're lacking somewhere. You're not putting that creative energy forward during this transit. So you have to put extra care. Uh, you, you know, you have to put extra effort here. So from the 11th of February to the 22nd of March, you will feel secluded. You are emotionally drained. You feel that you don't want to get connected with people. Maybe you are undergoing a surgery and you're aloof or hospitalized, or maybe you meet with an accident. Be careful. These are all warning signs. You know, I'm just telling you beforehand. So just be watchful, drive carefully, be a little extra careful about these things. Walk care cautiously. Don't be too fast. Don't be in a rush. Take it easy. There are certain um, people in your life or maybe your family people you're getting irritated with. So you want to aloof yourself, you want to cut off yourself from them and you want to just be in seclusion and spend time with yourself. That is something which is very powerful energy, you know, to gain that recoup your lost energy. You need that kind of, uh, uh, you know, vibration around you, which is like your aura. You know, you want to just work through those energies at times. So it's a good time for you. From 22nd March to 22nd of April, you will be feeling that you have lost communication touch with your uh, social life, with your social circle. You want to. Now you want the connection, the connectivity back, but you're unable to. From 22nd March to the 22nd April, you might lose your phone. Your phone might get broken or your internet is not working or you know you are just uh, maybe you're traveling and you're unable to. Um, there's some obstruction in the travels also. That is uh, from 11th of Feb or to 22nd March. Also, there will be some obstructions in travels at that time as well. But from 22nd March to 22nd April, you will have some uh, connectivity issues with your own people, with your friends. You want to get connected, but you're unable to. Maybe, you know, your investments uh, or investors, they are not actually uh, guiding you through properly. So you will feel very irritated during this time. You have the, uh, 20, from the 22nd of April to the 19th of August. Now, this is a huge time, you know, you have to be actually careful about your pos positive energy at the place of work. You're losing out uh, that energy, you know, you're procrastinating things, you're not able to finish off your projects, you're being very stubborn, you're being very egoistic with your co-workers and your bosses, you know, you want to boss around. So that is not going to work. You have to actually put little extra effort uh, there. You're getting detached with your place of work. You feel that you don't want to be here. You're getting restless now you want to just leave the job and go you want to just run away but you have to keep calm you have to have patience or maybe it's a new assignment you are in so you feel the discomfort even more during this phase so be watchful be prepared for these kind of energies you'll be able to sail through this as well see what i can do is i can just guide you through well in advance that this is coming your way 
there are certain remedies which are actually, it's not justified if I give you general remedies. It's not justified. If you really are having that pain and you, you know, if you don't see the doctor, how will the doctor prescribe you the medicine? We cannot give, uh, okay, you have Panadol uh, or the Crocin or whatever, you know, for the stomachache, you have the medicine and, you know, you'll be fine, the generic medicine. That's what I'm doing. But at the same time, for uh, a specific problem, you need specific remedy. What is in your horoscope, personal horoscope? One has to see that and then prescribe. So I'm, that's why I don't give general remedies. It's really not justified. So uh, be careful when you're uh, from the 19th of August to 20th of September, you might feel that you are now uh, get, uh, getting detached with your own teachers, with your father, your father figure, or you're not able to follow the religion you're in. There are certain languages that you want to, wanted to learn or you were learning a language. You are going to complete it maybe during this time, during this 19th August to 20th September. So it is going to be a good phase. This is a good transit for you. Uh, the, this one month, this is a good one. Maybe, you know, your luck and fortune is going to be favoring you a lot. You're taking a pilgrimage. Journeys are, you know, a little obstructive. They are going to be, uh, there's maybe some break in journey or maybe there is some problem in journeys. You have to be careful. Higher learning, if you're going for some higher education, higher learning, it can be a problem, problematic area. Uh, you know, you have to plan it well, well in advance. There are certain, uh, you know, um, people around you who are actually bothering you. You're, you're, you're be behaving very, uh, you know, irrational with them. So you have to be really uh, working through that energy as well during this transit. So uh, I feel it, you have to just, uh, you know, your transits are very good. Uh, the houses, okay, two is transiting are very good. It detaches actually, it cuts you, it cuts you or it breaks you from there. So it's just that that you have to, uh, be receptive to these energies also. We need all these energies. We have all the nine planets in our horoscope and we need all of them. So utilize it. It's the right time. Coming to the next sign that is uh, Virgo. So for Virgo people, you have to be careful at your, uh, with your people, with your family, with your own people. You might have ego clashes. You have to be careful about that. You might be going away from them. Maybe you're traveling. So from the 11th of February till the 22nd of March, you have to be taking care of uh, the investments, the finances carefully. You might be getting too emotional and you get carried away and you just, uh, because your friends are saying so, so you're just following them and you're just investing blindly. Don't do that. You have to be careful. Then from the 22nd of March to the 22nd of April, you have to be extra careful at the place of work. You're being very pessimistic. You're being very uh, negative. You're getting detached from the place of work. You don't want to work. Or maybe you are fed up. You're too fed up. Or you're trying to be very bossy with your bosses and your co-workers. Could be anything depending on your personal chart, of course. So in case you will go back and see what, why, what why am I talking about these dates, you will get to know and uh, what are the predictions on the mundane level as to what we can anticipate during this transit. It's a very important transit actually, you know, when Ketu is in Mula, uh, Ketu's own sign, uh, own nakshatra. So it is going to be bringing about some major changes, of course. So that is why I'm making a long video on this. So it is a very important transit. So you just uh, go back and hear the summary, you'll get to know. But on the person level, yes, from the 22nd of March to 22nd of April, the, the likelihood is that you will be having uh, communication issues with your people, uh, your co-workers or your bosses. So you have to maintain cordiality with them. You are getting too detached with your place of work. Maybe you're, you know, th there can be one more thing. You're working from home most of the times or your mobile phone breaks. So you have to, obviously, it's an expensive phone, so you it breaks, so it will take some time to maybe buy, but though we cannot do without a phone these days, or it gets stolen. So you have to be prepared for that as well. You have to be careful. Travels can be a little problematic if at all you are planning some long journeys. Be careful. There can be some break in journeys. From the 22nd of April till the 19th of August, especially, you know, you can have some break in journeys or you're taking a pilgrimage, you're meeting your father, but you're having clashes with your father. You're having difference of opinion. You're learning a language and uh, you're not able to complete it. That can also happen. Uh, then there can be that, you know, you are actually, uh, you know, 
going for some undergrad or uh, you're going for PhD or higher education or some research work, but you are not getting that success or you're getting detached. Now you're getting fed up. You don't want to do it anymore. You're becoming too um, irrational or maybe uh, you're becoming, you're losing out on patience during this time. Just maintain cordiality with your siblings and neighbors during this time. Be prepared for your uh, problems in the journeys. So this can happen from the 22nd of April to the 19th of August. From the 19th of August to the 20th of September, just for one month, you have to be a little extra careful as to what exactly is your health indicating you. Is it saying that take a break, take a pause, you need to take, a re take some rest, you have, you're overdoing things, or maybe you are getting some kind of uh, you know, energy drain during this time. Or maybe you um, meet with an accident, that could also happen. Drive carefully. Maintain a good rational behavior with your own people. Finances can be a big issue during this time. So maintain that uh, you know, balance sheet in a proper manner. Balance it. There are more of liabilities than the assets, so you have to balance it out, right? So just um, invest in a proper manner where you can make more money. You're losing out on money if you are into business. So do care, take care of these points. You will sail through this phase as well. During this time, children are actually going to be doing a little, you know, they have to put a little extra hard work in case they have to go for some higher education. Coming to the next sign, that is Libra. All right, for Libra people, um, please go back and hear the summary. It's a very important summary as to what exactly are we heading to on the mundane level and what we have experienced in the past also. That's why I've given such a long summary initially. And uh, for the personalized thing, you have to really go in for uh, you know personalized reading. You have to book a consultation with the uh, astrologer of your choice. Uh, and uh, what is in store for on the general level on uh, your per particular uh, ascendant that is Libra. I can just tell you as per the Navmash, I'll give you the dates. From the 11th of February to the 22nd of February, you have to be careful about your travels, about your relationships with your siblings, with your neighbors. And of course, you that is a throughout thing. But yes, you have to be extra careful during this time. From the 11th of February till the 22nd of March, especially at the place of work, you are feeling very uneasy. There is a very pessimistic approach to uh, your job. You have to really put effort, you know, you're feeling very low, you're feeling the negative energy, the negative vibes, you're fed up actually, you know, you really don't want to go to the place of work, you're getting too detached with the people there and there is a lot of emotions which are getting strangulated, I would say, you know, your projects are like pending and you're not feeling, you know, that uh, happiness question is missing. So you have to actually sail through this phase because you're heading to a better phase uh, later. So this will give you, uh, you know, some kind of aloofness at the place of work. Just try and maintain cordiality with your own uh, co-workers and your own bosses. You know, they are really going to be of help if you want to actually take help and extend some kind of reciprocity. Then from the 22nd of March to the 22nd of April, you will feel a uh, little detached with your father, with your gurus, or there are some travels you're heading to and you're having some problem there. The luck factor is missing actually during this time. So you feel that, you know, uh, I'm not getting any help from anywhere. All the doors are shut, but there's always one door which is open for us, for all of us. So just look for that door during this time. If you are going in for some higher studies, higher learning, maybe you're learning a language. So you can start, you can initiate that during this time, or maybe, you know, uh, travels can give you some breaks. Higher learning can also be a little delayed. So just plan everything well. From the 22nd of April till the 19th of August, this is a very crucial phase for you. You have to, first of all, be careful, extra, extra careful as to how you drive. If you want to, maybe you, know, you can meet with an accident. You have to be extra careful if you're driving your own vehicle. Secondly, you have to take care of your health. There can be some uh, problems related to your stomach that can, you know, maybe you're eating out a lot often and then, you know, you fall sick you're prone to having some related issues. You're prone to having surgery, fevers. So you have to be cautious during this time. There can be uh, problems related to your family and finances also. There can be some crunch 
you have to plan everything well well in advance because if you're heading to such a phase and i'm telling you so you must be prepared right that then only my saying in advance is going to be of some help to you people so be extra careful maintain cordiality don't be egoistic with your own family people they are always yours they will always be by your side family comes first remember friends and family true friends they are always by your side when you need them just a phone call away from the 19th of august to the 20th of september you will be feeling little detached with your spouse you will be feeling that now the partnerships uh, are meaningless or you're having a lot of arguments some frictions some frequent conflicts during this time or maybe you know there is that lack of sexual urge or maybe there are certain health issues which is keeping you away from your sexual partner so that can also can be a secretive relationship during this time which will come to a limelight so be careful it can come to limelight at all you have one um, some investments that you have made and you're expecting some good returns out of it it will not happen during this time it's going to be little problematic or delayed so you have to be extra extra careful when you are investing with your partner especially you know in your business if you are already in a business and you are investing so this can bring some kind of problems in the growth prospects of the business overall uh, there can be some you know ego clashes also with your spouse or your partner be careful about this you can work through these energies if i'm telling you yes 22nd april to 19th august is a very very precarious time you have to be extra careful coming to the next sign that is uh, scorpio okay uh, for scorpio people you have to be extra careful as to how you handle your relationships because you know you are having some really tough time with your relationships and your finances you have to pull through this phase then i'm giving you the dates and in case you have not heard the summary you will get to know what why i'm giving you these dates and why uh, how i'm relating the dates to navmashas so that will help you and on the mundane level as to what we can anticipate uh, this is just uh, a generalized uh, reading for you individually uh, for scorpions but on the mundane level in general you can hear the summary initial summary a long summary i've given for that reason now here what is going to happen uh, to start with from the 11th of feb to the uh, february to the 22nd of march you will be feeling a little detached with your spiritual guru or your father or maybe you are having some problems in travels uh, long distance journey especially then you are going for some higher learning program you know maybe you are picking up a course and you are going to be doing that so there can be some obstacles during that time pilgrimage sign grace is going to be there with uh, you know ketu in the ninth namansha uh, so it is definitely going to be giving you some solace there but yes uh, as far as your connectivity with the higher learning with your father with the spiritual guru all these are concerned you know your philosophical belief system your spiritual belief system they are all going to get impacted negatively during this time so you have to work through these energies because it's after all ketu and ketu is detachment so you will either feel aloof or you will uh, you won't feel like doing all these things if you have been doing till now you will not feel like doing it then coming to the 22nd march to 22nd of april so this is the time when you will be you're more accident prone you know you're more uh, into uh, hurdles you are you're prone to diseases you can have fever stomach problems stomach related issues or maybe some food poisoning often so you have to be careful about all these energies from the 22nd of april to 19th of august this is the time when you will feel uh, that you are getting detached with your own partner with your uh, you know with your business partner your spouse there is no sexual urge you're just feeling like abandoning everything and going so there is a lot of friction a lot of arguments happening here and there so you have to sail through this time as well it is going to be definitely a little difficult time for you when uh, from because it's a long transit you know uh, from the 22nd april to the 19th of august so it can bring about some relationship issues definitely some relationship issues at this time so it is not considered to be an auspicious movement of uh, maybe you know the, your 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 partner or you either of you are having some secret relationship which is coming to a limelight so you have to be extra careful about that as well and be prepared also they can, it can bring about frequent conflicts or doubts also there can be some kind of separative tendencies during this time then from the 19th of august to the 20th of september 
you are actually prone to falling sick often. You're feeling that you're unwell, you're, you know, it's a house of disease, deaths, wars, enemies, conflicts, more. So you are, either you're getting away from all this, if you have some long, um, you know, uh, chronic diseases that you have been facing till now, you will be able to get uh, freedom from that. Maybe you will get cured. That can also happen. You're prone to accidents during this transit more. So you have to be careful about that. And of course, um, uh, a lot of heated arguments with your uh, co-workers also can happen during this time. So it's better that you are becoming too charitable and helpful to others. That's a very uh, important remedy that I keep giving uh, everybody. Uh, you have a very intense attitude towards people. So you have to really work through that. You are becoming uh, either too uh, dry uh, and there is lack of peace because of that dryness. So you have to maintain that cordiality with people around you. Okay, so this is how the transit looks like. You have to control your anger. Not control, but you have to work through that energy even more during this transit. Coming to the next sign, that is Sagittarius. For Sagittarius people, this is a little precarious uh, and a tough transit. You can just go back and hear why I'm giving the dates that I'm going to be giving you right now. And on the mundane level, how the things are, you can just go back and hear the summary. It is a very helpful summary as to what we are we can anticipate when uh, these kind of configurations happen in the sky. So here, what is happening on the 11th of February, Ketu is going to the Mula Nakshatra and it is going to be in Cancer Navmansha. From 11th February to 22nd of March, you can anticipate some kind of uh, um, uh, detachment with your, uh, you know, your own people. You will be feeling that you're thinking too much about getting aloof from the worldly things, property matters or, uh, you know, taxes. You feel very detached from this world now. You will start feeling too emotional about what am I doing on this earth? You're thinking too much about all these things. You know, you, you're lacking happiness. So you have to actually uh, work through these uh, energies because till the time we are alive, we have to be kicking and living, you know, rather than just sulking all the time and thinking depressively. So you have to uh, think about the mystical side of life. There is a mystical side also to this life. So how do you enjoy it? How do you, uh, you can, you know, basically you can really unearth the, these kind of realms of life. It will really help you utilize this, you know, uh, maybe you are an occultist yourself, you know, you're already into all this. So, or you're an astrologer. So you can just put little extra effort and you will sail through this phase. And especially, you know, you will be inclined to all these subjects even more during this time, or you will be booking a reading with an astrologer of your choice. That can also happen. And that will enhance your, uh, you know, it will uh, give you a lot of insights. You're vulnerable to injuries. You're prone to injuries. You're prone to uh, electric current during this time. You have to be careful. Drive safely. If you're heading to a surgery, you might be just going through a surgery. You're undergoing a surgery. So you have to be extra, extra careful about uh, this, especially 11th of February till the 22nd of March. You have to be extra careful. From the 22nd of March to the 22nd of April, you will be having some problems in relationships regarding your business, regarding your marriage, regarding your partnership business, relationships are going to be on all time low. There is no sexual urge. You will feel detached from your partner. You might be having somebody else on your mind. You are having some relationship apart from your marriage that will come to limelight or you will, your, your partner will be having some kind of relationship apart from marriage. So you, you, you know, there is some kind of um, secret relationship which is coming to line, right? You have to be extra careful during this time. There can be more often the heated arguments during this phase, 22nd of March to 22nd of April. You can have some health issues, some stomach related issues. There can be some frequent conflicts, misunderstandings, doubts, uh, arguments. You know, all that can happen during this Ketu detaches you. So there can be some separative tendencies also during this time. Going to the day 22nd of April till the 19th of August. It's a long one. So this is going to give you uh, some kind of uh, diseases that you have been having. You might be getting freedom, you know, you'll be getting the cure. If at all you have to pay off some loans you have taken, you'll be able to pay, pay them off. There are some hidden enemies you'll be able to get 
uh, overcome them or you'll be friends to them and you know you reconcile that can also happen some litigation or something you're going to be reconciling during this time you're prone to accidents during this phase be careful drive safely there are a lot of obstructions in your life during this time so you have to be extra extra careful and you have to rise above all the difficulties that you are and facing and you have to attain success you're having some problems at the place of work also there are some tiffs that you're having some ego matters that you have to solve there is a lot of ego financial crisis so you have to work through these energies solace okay then lastly from 19th of august to 20th of september this is the time when you will have some problems with your intelligence question you will not be able to implement whatever you're thinking the creative knowledge that you have maybe there is a lot of politics at the place of work that can also happen so your inclination towards doing that uh, you know philosophical learnings or you know your creative view that you are missing out on people are not letting you do things or maybe you know you have a lot of ego ego clashes with people or you are getting detached from the worldly things and you are too much into mystical sciences you know you're too much into occults you're too much into astrology tarot or whatever you know you have been doing they if at all you are heading to a you know pregnancy or stuff so that you there are problems you can face you know maybe a surgical procedure ha- you have to undergo or maybe you know you, there can be abortions also so you have to be careful of all that progeny issues you can have from 19th of august till the 20th of september ego clashes of course i just said that you have to work through you know your lot of anger is there within you so you have to really work through these energies during these phases just go back and hear what i said initially in the uh, monday on the monday level as to what is going to happen that will really help you as well coming to the next sign that is capricorn all right capricorn people you have to be careful about your health especially i always keep repeating this that you have to be careful about your health you have to be careful about your professional growth you have to work through these energies even more with this ketu in mula nakshatra transit so please note the dates and why i'm giving the dates you can just go back and hear the summary the initial part that i uh, mentioned about and uh, uh, on the mundane level as to what exactly is in store that also you can hear and what we can anticipate during this transit it's a very important summary and this is a very important a crucial video at of february to 22nd of march so this is the time when you will have some problems uh, related to your relationships relationship with your spouse with your business partner with the outside world you'll be detached with them you will have a lot of expectations and those will not be fulfilled you have to work through that energy during this transit especially even more in case you have uh, you know you will even um, be feeling that there is no sexual urge there can be some secret or hidden relationship which is going to be coming to the line right of yours or your spouses you be be careful about that then there can be some kind of uh, uh negative uh negative thought process re- regarding your investments also during this time or maybe you, your partner is not cooperating so don't expect a lot from your partner business partner also things are not going to be happening in uh, the way you have planned there can be some kind of detachment with your uh, own people you know you will not be able to uh, uh do as they want and you know they are expecting in a different manner and you're expecting your expectations are also going beyond limit so it's not actually reciprocity is not there so you have to balance things out during this time 22nd march to 22nd of april this is the time when you will be having some kind of disconnect with your uh, you know your own uh, coworkers your with your own people uh, maybe you your um, going to be paying off your loans uh, that that's what you have planned but you are unable to do so there there is some uh, health issue that you are having from a long time so it is going to get prolonged so you have to be careful you know you have to work through that also during this transit it can so happen that you know uh, there are certain hidden enemies that you know are uh, actually waiting for you at the place of work uh, they are waiting to react and you are going to be Uh, you have to be extra cautious about that you have to be charitable work through humanity you know during this time that is a major remedy that you can do even if somebody is harming you you don't have to retaliate the same way but yes you have to uh, be careful about when you are driving you are prone to injuries you are prone to accidents during this time there are many many obstructions and obstacles you are going to be facing so be careful so be careful there is a lack of growth during this time so it's a stagnant phase 22nd april to 19th of august 
it is going to be a little difficult for uh, your philosophical belief system you know you have or maybe the creative you you're not being able to express you're having some problems with your finances with your investments and with your uh, uh, relatives and you're uh, having some problems with your children you're not able to understand them there are some research or something you know or some mysticism some occult that you are thinking of or you're uh, you're paying attention to these uh, things more during this time so this will maybe detach you from doing other things that you are doing in the mainstream you just uh, maybe if you are fond of doing that no harm go ahead with it then lastly, uh, on the 19th of August, because it's a long transit, you know, from 22nd April to 19th of August. So you have to be careful. If you're planning progeny also, you have to be careful because, you know, you should avoid during this, at least this time. Or maybe if you are heading to a, uh, a delivery, then you uh, uh, surgical uh, procedure. Then from the 19th of August to 20th of September, you might have some detachment with your own people, with your family, with your family members, with your mother especially. You're getting detached or maybe you're going away from where you are. You're going away, uh, leaving the motherland and going or leaving the mother and going. Maybe there is some uh, aloofness with your own people. Some aloofness. Maybe you're focusing more on other things than the home front. Nourish your own childhood and you know, you, uh, those days, you, okay, there can be some problems related to real estate also during this time. That can also happen 11th uh, from the 19th of August to the 20th of September. So this is the time you have to be extra careful because you're too detached from home right now. So this is the time you have to, uh, you need more love and you need to give more love and concern to others. Okay, be warm, be pleasant be happy that happiness question is missing so you have to be extra extra cautious about this energy during this transit coming to the second last sign that is aquarius all right for aquarius people uh, please go back and hear the summary as to what we are heading to on the mundane level that's very important and what exactly am i talking about the dates if at all you are a vedic astrology enthusiast you will get to know that i'm looking into the namansha position of ketu and mudra nakshatra for charan so how is it going to be this whole phase i've divided into four parts so these dates are 11 february to 22nd of march you will have conflicts you will have wars or diseases or enemies or you'll be uh, thinking about uh, uh, your uh, place of work you know a lot a lot of work is lying pending and you're meticulously maybe doing it but you have that tendency to get uh, you know procrastinate things so you have to really work through these energies even more if at all you are having a prolonged disease or something that is coming to an end you're going to be really free out of it and you'll be uh, you'll get the cure so this is something you have to serve the humanity during this time even more because you know this is the time when you're prone to accidents you're prone to injuries so be careful. There are a lot of obstructions and, uh, you know, obligations and obstructions and obstacles in life. So you have to uh, actually work through that, work through these energies even more. 22nd March to 22nd of April is the phase when you will have some problems with your um, loved ones, with your romantic partner, maybe with your, uh, you know, your knowledge, your creativity that you know you're missing out on there are certain projects that are like pending and you're unable to do it you're thinking of completing the task and they're just uh, prolonging you know you're not able to complete it or maybe there is a lot of politics playing in the uh, at the place of work and you're not too happy with it there are certain reasons uh, that you know uh, is uh, that they're bothering you a lot uh, with the relationship you're in or with your partner or with your business partner as a matter of fact you are more uh, inclined towards occult and mysticism during this time rather than doing your uh, mainstream job that you're doing so no problem you can just spend more time doing, doing this and you're feeling too aloof and disconnected with the outside world so this is something that you'll be feeling in case you are heading to a childbirth Please make sure that you know everything is fine you can have a child through uh, not a normal one or maybe you know through a surgical procedure and in case you are heading to a, a pregnancy if you're planning a pregnancy just avoid this k2 transit you know in the mula uh, not the whole of it at least from the 22nd of uh, march to the 22nd of april this is the time you can avoid uh, 22nd of april to 19th of august Maybe you are traveling, you know, you're having a long distance travel and you're going away from your family people or from your mother or the motherland. So you're actually getting 
away from them. You're getting detached. Be careful while driving. You know, you have to be careful. Or maybe you're selling off your property and going from that particular place you were in from a long, long time and you're going to a new place. That can also happen. So this is the time when you really need the motherly love and you're missing out on that. You really are missing out. Something which you really did not plan and you, you, it, it just happened that you had to leave or separate from the people around you or your own people. So you just have to take care of these matters in case you have to um, leave a place, then you can't help it. You, know? you have to just, just do it. Um, or maybe your loved one, some, some of your loved ones are going away from you. That can also happen. Then uh, from the 19th of August to the 22nd of uh, September, you can have some obstructions in travel, in breaking journey, or maybe you can have some problems with your siblings, with your neighbors, or there are some ego clashes, or maybe there is something to do with your self-expression. You're not able to con communicate. Maybe your mobile breaks during this time and you have to, you're really, really, you know, uh, upset and, uh, you know, you, you, your uh, ties with others is broken because of that. You know, today mobile phone is uh, a lifeline, you know, you just need it, you know, it has to be handy. You know? We do all the jobs on the mobile phone. Even my team is always working, you know, with a mobile phone in their hand. They are just on the go, you know, all the time they are responding. And in case they get delayed, please bear with them. They are doing a lot of work. Then uh, you can have some problems with your neighbors also during this time, maybe with your siblings also. Maybe you are having uh, some issues that you have to resolve, but you're unable to during this time. So it is definitely... Uh, going to give break in short journey especially uh, they're going to be a problematic communication can go uh, for a to toss maybe your internet uh, is not working for quite some time so just don't be restless these things might happen these things might not happen also so this is something that i'm just trying to make you aware of uh, you can fall into all this there can be some legal complication also you can have with your siblings so be watchful be careful just don't get into all this if at all you are heading to these uh, energies, you should be actually avoiding to get entrapped in all these energies. So from the 19th of August to 20, 20th of September, you have to be careful as to your communication you know, with others, all right, with your siblings and your neighbors especially. All right, now coming to uh, the last sign that is Pisces. All right, Pisces, uh, please go back and hear the summary. I've put a lot of effort there uh, so that you know, you're know you aware of what exactly are we uh, heading to, uh, what can we anticipate with the um, on the mundane level with this Ketu transit, uh, Mula and Mars also there. So just go back and hear that summary. You will get to know what exactly are these dates I'm talking about also. And uh, in case you are a very good astrology enthusiast, you will be interested to know what are the Namansha positions. So from the 11th of February till the 22nd of March, you have to be careful about your uh, creativity. You are putting a lot of effort at the place of work uh, to end the projects, but you are unable to. It's the house of pleasure and intelligence also. So you are not logically thinking about whatever is happening in your life. You have to, that intel, intelli, intellect, intelligent question, that is missing. The pleasure is missing. You are unable to enjoy life. So that you have to, uh, and you, or maybe you're getting too overly emotional with your children during this time. Or maybe they are going away from you for higher learning, higher education, higher subjects. So you have to uh, send them off. So seeing them off is, of course, painful for the parents. So that can also be uh, one of the reasons of your detachment with them. Uh, then um, from the 22nd of March till the 22nd of April, you will be having some disconnect with your motherland or with your mother or with the family people or maybe you're selling off your property and going to another place. So some kind of disconnect you're getting into during this transit. It's a long transit. So you might have some problems with your internet often, with your phone, with your travels, something to do with, uh, you know, mm, detachment with your, you know, with your own people, that emotional disconnect. So just get connected to your people. Even if you're far, don't, uh, you know, if you're working somewhere in the foreign land, just pay attention to their sentiments, get connected, touch base, maybe, you know, meet them or uh, if possible, or maybe you can just call them up, make video call and talk to them during this time. Or maybe somebody is taking away your property from you. That can also be the case. Uh, then from the 22nd of April to the 17th of August, it's a long transit. So it's going to be um, 
that you know you are having some problems with your siblings with your neighbors your expression your communication you are not able to convey your mind your thoughts you're just running errands and you're not able to complete your job so this is a very very important transit for you this these months are very crucial month for you travels will be frustrating or there is break in journey you're unable to um uh, manage your funds your finances well you're unable to do the good earnings you're not able to make good money or maybe it's some religious activities you want to um, perform you're not able to you're being restricted so all these complications will arise you know during this time maybe there is some complication with your siblings uh, which is going to another level maybe there are some legal complications with your siblings and neighbors maybe so you have to be extra extra careful about these things then uh, from the 19th of august till the 20th of september this is the time when you will be thinking about uh, your finances you'll be thinking about your uh, family uh, you want to think about them but you know you are unable to there is some kind of wrong investments you will make heavy investments and you will have losses you will incur a lot of losses during this time be careful there can be some detachment with your family members you are having some ego clashes maybe some heated arguments heated arguments with your maybe at the place of work and you're carrying it home so there can be some kind of frictions that is going to be uh, that's likely during this time so there may be some speech disorder is there stammering is there or you're eating something out some wrong foods uh, you know spicy oily foods and you're having some uh, related issues or some stomach uh, infection so you have to be careful during this time that is why i have made that video uh, initial part where you will get to know what exactly are we heading to on the mundane level also so that we can be prepared so i am giving you these general remedies general predictions for that reason only that please if you are having that kind of uh, issues we can again sail through the uh, against the tide we can sail uh, we can swim against the tide and we can just sail through this phase as well if we are having detachment with our people we can always burn through these energies and we can be out of it also so this is something that is uh, quite likely during this phase but yes you have to uh, you can change you can maneuver you have that free will you can maneuver the uh, you know the fate and the luck so i hope you uh, will take care of yourself everyone i really request you to be watchful the, uh, about this transit it's a very very important transit and a very very crucial transit so stay blessed everybody i really wish and pray good luck to you all and me also stay blessed om tat sat